Forza used to be a standard piece at the Met. It used to be performed every other year, and it's been so long now since we've taken up Forza. It's been a revelation for a lot of the choristers saying, I, I didn't even know this. I, I never knew this opera. I didn't realize how beautiful it is. The solo writing, but in particular, the chorus writing is just, just very special and unique. <laughs> We have to change moods, change characters back and forth throughout the entire piece. The biggest contrast might be between the very first two scenes that we sing. The first scene in the opera takes place in an, in an inn, and uh, it's pretty coarse, boisterous, uh, drinking, uh, dancing. The first word we say is not even a word, it's hola, and that sort of sets the tone for the entire scene. And the next time you see the chorus, the men are singing a hymn off stage in Latin. There's an organ playing with the, the men as they sing this Latin chant. Uh, as Leonora arrives, she hears this sound and all of a sudden the opera takes a twist into a world of spirituality, uh, of calm, of, of solace. The, the music changes completely at that moment in the opera. And then the men appear on stage and sing the most beautiful uh, chorus, I think, one of the most beautiful moments in all of opera, La Vergine degli Angeli. When we come on stage, the chorus becomes the organ in the scene. And we intone these beautiful chords over a simple harp, arpeggio, accompaniment just the men by themselves. It, it sounds almost a cappella. It really feels like an organ solo. Each individual chorister has to listen constantly, not so much to their sound, but the collective that's, that's ringing around them. The way to achieve this blended, uniform sound is to make sure that all of the vowels are consistent across all of the singers. It's very good, guys, but the word S-U-O has two syllables in it. And what I'm hearing is a one syllable with a, wo with a glide. So any way we can get suo, suo. At this tempo, we, we hear every syllable. Yeah, second phrase. Three and uh, four. Good, good. Every time we when get you have fifty men, all of the vowels are going to have individual quirks to them. So we end up working on each chord, trying to get that uniform vowel color, but also uniform color from one vowel to the next. And that's what we spend most of our time in List Hall working on, finding that blended sound with a collection of such diverse, strong voices. The long notes have to have the triplets in them. It's all this angel wings fluttering. It's almost there, guys. This, we gotta knock our socks off with this. There's no other chorus that can sing this as beautifully as, as you can. So we've gotta nail this one. It's absolutely blended, round, grounded, calm spirituality. This rich male chorus sounds like the earth in a way, just, just shuddering underneath while the harp is, is heaven in a way. And Leonora stands in the middle of these two places. It's an amazing moment. And, and to have a soprano like Lisa Davidson sailing over us is just one of the greatest 
thrills I've had here at the Met. There's a scene later on in the opera which is basically a camp scene, and people are trying to have a good time despite the fact that everything has been destroyed around them. And then Preziozilla steps forward and she starts this rataplan, which is a segment that is basically a cappella. There's a drum off stage. The chorus is trying to be the drum as well with our rataplan, with the, the text. And it's a very long segment. The first couple times we rehearsed the piece, the chorus said at the end, oh my God, my lips are, I, 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 blah, blah, I can't talk anymore. I've just sung 300 rataplan, rataplan, blah, blah. And so it's very difficult physically. The PL is what, what does you in after a while. That's a short, that is not a quarter. And it's so much fun, so much fun to sing. And uh, for me and for a lot of the choristers, we, we all are just so, uh, so happy with the sound that we make together. And those list hall rehearsals sometimes can be just as rewarding as a performance. But our, our goal is to take that musical work, that solidity, take it to the stage and share it with the audience so that they hear what we've worked on musically for so long. And the great thing about opera is that you can look at it on the page, but what the audience is going to see in here is going to be different every time they come to the theater. And, and it's our job to bring the, bring the score alive to them in, in a different way every time we perform.